A memorial service is set to be held today in Silicon Valley for Dave Goldberg. He was the CEO of the company SurveyMonkey and the husband of Facebook executive Sheryl Sandberg. The 47-year-old tech veteran was vacationing in Mexico with his wife and two children when he died Friday. Mexican officials say that he died from accidental blunt force trauma while exercising on a treadmill. Investigators say that Goldberg appeared to have lost his grip on the equipment's railing, then fell backward and hit his head. Now, this tragedy involving uh, Dave Goldberg is a reminder of how dangerous treadmills can be. Diane Cho spoke to a doctor about treadmill injuries and how often they really happened in the past year. Mexican officials say David Goldberg, the CEO of SurveyMonkey and the husband of Facebook's chief operating officer, Sheryl Sandberg, was found near treadmill after he apparently slipped on the machine and suffered a blow to the back of his head while he was exercising in a gym. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission estimates in 2014 there were nearly 63,000 injuries seen in the ER related to exercise equipment. Of that number, they say there were 24,400 injuries from treadmills. Not surprising for the director of training at Synergy Health and Fitness here in Arlington. The issue is people need, need to realize that it is a piece of moving apparatus and you still need to practice precaution again regardless of how many times you've been on it. The CPSC says as for deaths associated with treadmills, there were on average about three a year from 2003 to 2012. It's very unusual to fall and die from a treadmill injury. Dr. Michael Silverman says the typical injuries associated with it includes injuries to a person's wrist or forearm from bracing for the fall. I've seen several patients that have had knee injuries from kind of sliding off the treadmill and hitting their knees on the edge. Uh, you can have a head injury where you fall and hit your head either going forward or as you come off the treadmill. Dr. Silverman says between all the buttons on the machine, the TVs and your cell phone, there's enough distractions on the treadmill which puts you at risk of falling, which is why he stresses that you focus on the task at hand. It shouldn't keep you from going to the gym. What it says is that you do need to be careful when you're on the treadmill. Diane Cho, ABC 7 News. Well, some